Hello and welcome to another episode of Blasticated Painting. And today we'll be painting someone who's been in this fight since he was six years old. Also because the show's Andor is coming out, so I figured. Probably a good idea. So today we'll be painting Cassie and Andor from Star Wars Legion by Atomic Mass Games. Let's do it. As always, we start off with a black prime and then a zenithal highlight of white. Then we're gonna take some Acerman blue and this is gonna go all over his coat. Um, we're gonna leave the trim and the uh, weird armband thing. We'll keep those white for now. We're going to switch over to Agros Dunes and this is going on his pants and on his gloves. We're not going to be too worried about this pooling because he's like a covert operative, you know, he's been out in the field a lot. So if he's dirty and his, he looks a little worn, I'm not too worried about it. I actually kind of want him to look a little, uh, a little rough. Next, we're going to take some rattling grime, and this is going on his boots. We're also going to put this on his belt and his backpack. So any of those straps hanging off him, and uh, the obviously the shoulder straps for the backpack, and the backpack itself. And don't forget to paint the little back of his hood blue as well, because I forgot, and I'm doing it now. Then we're going to switch over to Iron Jaws Yellow, and this is going to go on the trim of the coat and the weird uh, arm thing. Next, we're going to take some Fire Slayer Flesh, and you guessed it, it's going on his face. Then we're going to take some Naz Drag Yellow and this is going to go on the frill of his uh, coat, on his hoodie, on his little winter, little winter coat. So now we're going to take some Bronze Flesh Tone and we're going to use this to highlight up his face. My apologies for it being a little blurry there. Uh, I'm not very good at this.
We're gonna take a little bit of dead white, add that to the bronze flesh tone, and we're gonna do uh, a little bit more of a highlight on his face, just to bring it up some more. Then we're gonna take some just straight black and this is gonna go on his uh, facial hair and uh, obviously the hair on his head as well. We're gonna take some Grave Lord Grey and this is gonna go on all the parts that we've left white. So the gun, the belt buckle, those weird things on his belt, I don't know what they are. Uh, also the button on his shoulder and the clasps on his jacket. Oh, and don't forget to put it on the spare tire on his backpack, because I don't know. He's just got a spare tire back there, just in case something blows. Next, we're gonna take some Crusader skin. We're gonna water this down quite a bit, so I would say 50-50 uh, Crusader skin and water, and we're going to put this on the face to smooth out our highlights that we added. Next, we're gonna take some somber gray, and we're gonna add highlights to his facial hair and his regular hair. I don't know if you say regular hair. Do you say facial hair and his hair? His facial hair is hair too. It's, 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 it's very confusing. We're going to add highlights to his hair and facial hair. See, I should have said it like that. Then we're gonna take some Gravelord Grey, we're gonna water that down 50-50, and we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the face just to smooth out those highlights. I will put a link in the description below to my Wookiee video where you can see how I did the base for this guy, and he is done. And for a quick paint job, this guy turned out okay. Uh, he looks weathered and dirty and like he's been out, uh, you know, like he's been in this fight since he was six years old, although his clothes are for an adult and not a six-year-old. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are excited for the Andor show. I think it looks pretty good. I know there was some controversy over uh, the guy holding a gun that didn't look Star Wars-y enough in the trailer. Who cares? Either way, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of the YouTube stuff, and I hope you guys have a great day. As always, the first thing I started off with a bad, bad, boom, boom, boom. If you have time to sit at home and freak out about the fact that the guy was holding a gun that looked too much like an AK-47 and not Star Wars enough, then maybe it's uh, time to reevaluate.